What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Bassam Hanna podcast. Today, I want to talk about doing deals. Um, over the last 12 months, I've noticed a trend, or everybody's really noticed a trend that uh, deal flow in real estate has slowed to an almost stop. You know, uh, I saw a recent stat that said uh, from last year to this year, there was a 74% drop in pre-construction condo sales, which means that there will be a corresponding drop in pre-construction and development activity. Um, and the, the reason I want to talk about this is twofold. One, explain why it's happening. And two, and more importantly, talk about the opportunity that exists for those that are willing to take the risks now. Uh, why is it happening? Well, about 12 months ago, the, the governments of the world decided that inflation was way too hot and that the best way to tackle inflation was to raise interest rates. When you raise interest rates, everything becomes more expensive. So people think twice about doing deals, you know, where before uh, interest rates were kind of like the one, two percent range. It was much easier to make uh, a pro forma or returns look good because you weren't paying so much to carry financing costs or to pay the bank their loan or their mortgage or whatever it is. As interest rates go up, the vast majority of, of commercial real estate operates on, on variable rate mortgages, which is like whatever prime is plus a spread um, versus a fixed rate. So as these things, are, as interest rates go up, everything becomes more expensive and then people think twice about wanting to do deals. When that happens, uh, what happens is all the quote unquote smart money is just waiting for things to settle down because they don't have the liberty of taking big risks or getting or timing the market incorrectly. Um, so when their money or the vast majority of, of like organized capital is sitting on the sidelines, it goes from being a, a seller's market where there's more buyers than sellers to a seller's market. There's a lot of people that are maybe starting to feel the pinch of higher interest rates um, or their business strategy isn't moving the way that it, that it was going because the market has slowed down and they need to get out of real estate. We are in that time right now, you know, putting aside my, my personal excitement uh, uh, at moments like this, the opportunity lies in the fact that if you can organize yourself and organize your capital and you are one of the very few buyers that are sitting in the market, you can then take your pick and negotiate better deals with your sellers. Uh, for example, when in 2020, 2021, when the market was super hot, it was actually very hard to buy land. You know, the develop or pe people that were sitting on land or sitting on commercial properties, they were asking for record low, record high prices on record low income multiples. Uh, and that made it, that made you have to make a decision as to whether you were going to be a long term holder, you were going to buy, knowing that you could, you're not getting the best deal in the world, but you want to be in the market. Um, or to wait. Most people bought. Now, all of the people that want to buy are like, mm, I'm not sure the market is exactly where I want it to be. It's pretty ugly out there right now. The, the sellers are, are more desperate than I'd want them to be. And that kind of spooks people away from doing deals. But in my opinion, this is the best time to do deals. While all of that quote unquote smart money is sitting on the sidelines, that's all that competition that you would normally have to face is not there anymore. So then you can maybe negotiate a better deal with, with a seller. You can maybe organize or, or buy a bigger site than, than you had intended on because your capital is going further. As a buyer, people are more actively looking for somebody to buy that piece of land or to buy their property off of them, especially if they, if they have a financial constraint that's forcing them to sell that it becomes a very real opportunity. So my advice or, or my dream is to be able to organize as many different pools of capital or investors that want to work together so that we can take advantage of moments like this. You know, the last time I remember a moment like this happening was in 2008, 2009, when the US subprime crash was happening. And, and that kind of dragged all of real estate and all of the markets down. The people that bought in that market to this day brag about the purchases they made, you know, 10, 15 years ago. 
I think we're in a moment like that right now. Um, I don't think it's going to be as bad as it was in 2008, 2009, but there's still a massive opportunity. And for all those entrepreneurially minded people that listen to this podcast, this is a time for you to get organized, to find your capital, find your expertise and find your land and go after it. Good luck.